Hello everybody and welcome back to MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries where we have this priority transmission here but we're going to do what we're doing in this area first before we take this. So that'll be fine for now. Let's see what we've got going on here. Good work, Commander. We were able to recover all four of the hatchetmen that your lance destroyed. But their battle damage is significant. In order to get them... Sorry about that. They have a tendency to go boom when you core them out. In order to get them operational, we will need to collect a large supply of replacement parts. We've identified a series of locations where the Arcturian guards have stored replacement actuators, myomer bundles, and weapon systems for the hatchetmen. We'll need to conduct an objective raid to find and recover these supplies to repair the lance of hatchetmen you've captured for us. We'll highlight locations in which the supplies should be located, but it will be up to you and your lance to identify and recover any materials on site. All further tactical information has been forwarded over to Rihanna. Good hunting, Commander. Okay, so we'll accept that. And where is this? Oh, it's right here. Interesting. So that is fine then. So we have this contract here. Difficulty 20, tonnage limit of 160. So we can maximize our seabell payout. I suppose we could maximize our salvage shares and still take a point of damage coverage. That's remarkable. Okay, well, we'll confirm that. Now, of course, the Jenner, Javelin, and T-Bolt are all being worked on. So we're going to have to swap these out. I'm thinking right now we go down to the Dragon here. So that will be wonderful. And then the Jenner, the question is, what do we replace that with? We're going to have some tonnage constraints here. No doubt about that. Hmm. So I'm thinking right now that we could replace it with the Centurion. That puts us 10 tons over. And then we could, in theory, drop the Javelin. And we have 20 tons to work with, which means we could replace the Urban Mech with our Hunchback. In theory. Where is our Hunchback? We have a Hunchback, don't we? Yes, right here. Okay, so we could do something like this, and that would put us right at our designated tonnage. We're down a mech, but this seems fine. This is probably wildly overkill in terms of mech quality anyway. It's a difficulty 20 mission, so this put shouldn't be particularly challenging, which is why we're trying to clean this up before we leave, because I don't really want to have to fly the back here. The may have their salvage tactic men, but they currently don't have the means to repair and refit them. Their intelligence has highlighted potential locations for various supplies needed to repair and maintain the Octuran Guard's hatchetmen. Our mission here is a straight-up smash and grab to rob them of these supplies. We'll move on the facilities marked on your HUD, collect our clients' needed components, and then get out of there before the rest of the Octuran Guards can respond. Be careful, Commander. Although we took out a full lance of them, the Octuran Guards reportedly still have two more lances worth of hatchetmen active in their roster. Be sure to approach each facility with caution, as those mechs can do serious damage up close. I wish them luck in getting close to our dragon. <laughs> Although I should point out we are outpacing the Hunchback and Centurion, so we should probably slow down up here and let them catch up a bit. So let's see what we've got here. That's a hatchetman. Okay, we have definitely poked the hornet's nest here. Noted. We're letting our allies get a little caught up here. Okay, so they're fairly caught up at this point. Ooh, okay. I wasn't expecting that quick of a AC shot, but whatever. I guess it's fine. What do we got over here? Oh. Hello there, commando friend. I'm watching our radar to make sure that the hatchetmen don't sneak up on us. There are a lot of... Indeed. There are a lot of various little crawlers and turrets here. So I'd like to eliminate at least some of those. Okay. So this is a hatchetman here. Which obviously means we are looking to core him out. And there he goes. Fantastic. As expected, hatchetmen go down acquired. very quickly when you hit their CT. Target destroyed. Okay, so there's a lot of enemies here, no doubt about that. But the actual destination is up over here. Target acquired. Okay, so that's the Scorpion light tank there. Yeah. And there it goes. Target destroyed. Fantastic. We've got another Scorpion out over here. Okay, get out of here, Scorpion. Got another one. There we go. So I just need to search this area. Get rid of that turret. 
There's apparently a turret right up over here. But I don't know where. And I don't want to exit the search radius. Okay. So there's a replacement weapon system up right up the over here. To pick it up. Wonderful. That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. Okay. Well, let's get out of here. You can never have too much ammunition. True. Okay, so our next target is... Okay, I see how this is laid out. We might end up fighting both of those garrisons at once. That's going to be interesting. So our allies are kind of stuck on the terrain back Target there. Acquired. But there's a scorpion right here that we can eliminate easily enough. Target destroyed. Now, we are not very far away from this. So that's no There's a turret right here. Let's get rid of that. That did not take it down, surprisingly. Target destroyed. Target okay. acquired. So we've got a scorpion here. Wow, he survived that. Target there destroyed. We go. So now here's a hatchetman. He's got that easy 10. Just trying to core him out there. There we go. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Excellent. Okay. Target destroyed. So we need to take out these turrets. So that's half of a lance of hatchetmen Target destroyed. that they apparently have two. So there's somewhere Target six acquired. additional hatchetmen, but we don't know that they're on this map. Okay, so there's an AC-2 turret up here that we can't really hit from this range. We're probably better off to just hide over here. Out of its LOS. So that'll be fine for now. And let's see what we've got going on here. Okay, right up over here. So this will be replacement actuators. Gotcha. Once you've found the targeted asset, move up to it, and we'll begin the recovery procedure. There we go. Target. Good. Our munitions can be restocked. Indeed. I got it. Okay, so there's a harasser out over here. Multiple vehicles out this way, actually. There we go. Target destroyed. Come here. This is suspiciously Ed, lightly defended. My kill count. That said, it's only difficulty 20, so maybe this is supposed to be this lightly defended. I don't know. But I feel like there's going to be a dropship. Okay, where is this salvage at? We should be able to just go through this wall in a heavy, right? Yeah. Excellent. So there's my Omer bundles allegedly somewhere out over here. Allegedly. Okay, I don't actually see them. I did see something out over this way, though. It was a sensor trace of, I believe, a medium mech. There's our salvage. If okay. you find the acquisition, just walk up to it in order to pick it up. So there's a Myomer bundle. Fantastic. That's the last of our clients needed supplies. Time to pull out before the rest of the Arcturan guards converge on our position. Get a move on it, Commander. Indeed. I don't know if we can destroy those vehicles or not. Hey, there's that dropship I was talking about. <laughs> I don't know if we have any need to tangle with them, to be honest. New target, Locust. I mean, it's just a Locust and a Spider. It's fine. That's not a concern. So let's get closed in on them here. And then we'll just take them out very quickly. New target, Spider. Hello there, spider. Hmm. I was expecting him to veer off there, and he didn't. Oh, yeah. Turns out that happens when you hit light mechs with an AC-20. They don't like it very much. Enemy mech eliminated. Hilarious. Okay, so now we can get out of here. This is fine. So let's just mask our way out of here. There's no reason to stay. There was no reason to take out those light mechs either. It's fine. Wonderful. So we're just masking away. 
Target destroyed. And our allies are finishing off those turrets and vehicles. Okay, so our mask is starting to overload at this point. Let's let that cool off a bit. Wonderful. Also, I heard a chain gun sound earlier, and I was confused. I think that was our AMS. We've used 1,000, or we have 1,908 ammo. I'm 99% certain here, Commander. that uh, we didn't have that to begin with. So I'm pretty sure we ams some stuff. That's good. So, as expected, easy mission, easy life. We like it. But that's why we're doing this now, to get it out of the way, so that we don't have to worry about it later on. So, do we want a spider? I don't know why we'd want a spider. I, we probably don't want a spider. That said, a locust is an interesting weight category. We maybe should take that. And then beyond that, we could take this AC-10 and then, like, this medium laser. Cool. So that seems fine for now. Excellent work, Commander. Not only were you able to acquire surplus supplies in excess of what we in initially estimated, but you've also eliminated more of the Arcturian Guard's hatchetmen for us to salvage. With this surplus, my superiors have authorized me to provide, to provide you with our first refurbished hatchetmen as a bonus for your exemplary performance. You'll need it for your next assignment. Okay, so that hatchetman there is fully repaired. Wonderful. So now we can go into our transmissions here and do part three. Commander, the independent people of Sky have come to learn that Tobias Klein is stationed here on Benfled with the Arcturian Guards. Tobias is the eldest son of Emma Klein, who sits on Defiance, the Defiance Industries Board of Directors. We believe that Tobias's current station may be the reason Defiance and the Archon have shown such clear favorit favoritism toward the Arcturian Guards. We're tasking your lance with finding Tobias and his catapult ooh, and destroying it. Even if Tobias survives the encounter, the destruction of his family's mech should show it to his mother that the Arcturian guards are, are undeserving of such preferential treatment. So, catapults are a good mech. I like catapults. Kind of unreasonably, I like catapults. We did kill three Phoenix Hawks, though, so we can turn this in. That's wonderful. And I believe there's a cantina here. So we can grab ourselves... Oh, kill some spiders. Sure, that seems good. So we'll continue to work on that. And as far as repairs go, we'll just repair everything here except the Locust. We don't need to repair the Locust. So the Dragon, let's go ahead and repair. That'll be nice and easy. Hunchback, easy repair. And Centurion, easy repair. The Locust, we're going to wait until we are at, a, at an industrial hub to repair. So that'll be fine. And now the question is, do we want to tick forward time before we take this contract? It's another low tonnage contract, and I suspect we do want to take time forward. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll do next event to get the Javelin, then the Hunchback, then the Centurion, then the Dragon. Then we're going to make our payment, which is getting to be a lot because we have a lot of mechs. And then I don't really care about waiting on the Assassin, I don't think. The rest of this is fine. So let's go ahead and run this contract then. And as before, we're going to max our sea bill payout, our solid shares, and then one point of damage coverage. Wonderful. Okay, and then as far as what mechs we're going to bring here, we probably do want to bring... We could bring along the Hatchetman. That's definitely an interesting option. I'm thinking about taking the Marauder. And then we would bring the Hatchetman... And then, like, a pair of lights. We've got 45 tons to work with here. So we could bring the Javelin, and then we would need a 15-tonner. Unless we wanted to be over tonnage. So we could drop the weight of the Marauder and bring the Jenner. So that would need to drop by 20 tons. So we'd need to drop this from a 75 down to a 55. Hmm... I feel like we should bring the Hatchetman, although I don't expect it to do too much. <laughs> so that's fine. I suppose we could drop the weight here. Alternatively, we could drop the weight of the Hatchetman. And that would go to being like the Irby at this point. We could have it be the Locust if that was repaired, or even the Assassin, which I believe is 10 tons lighter, or fi 5 tons lighter. Right, 5 tons lighter. So that is a potential option, but I think instead we're going to drop the Marauder down to the Dragon, and that puts us... What? No. 
This is not what I wanted. <laughs> we just accidentally switched the Jenner over here. I wanted to drop down to the dragon. That puts us only five tons over, and we'll just call that good. So that'll be fine. That's only a 3% sea bill reduction. No big deal there. Tobias Klein, son of Defiance Industries board member Emma Klein, has been discovered to be serving with the Octuran Guards. The independent people of Sky believe that Tobias's current assignment to the Guards is one of the primary reasons why Defiance has shown such favoritism towards supplying the unit. They want him and his family's catapult taken out as a way to send a message to Defiance's board of directors. Search for Tobias and his catapult at the Martin up points, then prepare for extraction once he's been eliminated. Okay, sounds good. So just not going out into that open area Target over there. Acquired. We have to keep in mind, this is a catapult that we're up against, and so we want to close in fast. Once Enemy we identify. Armor spotted. Incoming missile. And their puny are no match for the made of house Oh, really? Looks like we're at the wrong place, Commander. Our target must have given us a slip. Let's check out the other locations. Okay. So we're going to eliminate these lights pretty easily here. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Incoming missile. Okay. Our AMS going nuts Destroy. right now. I like it. So this is a missile platform New here. That's a cow. Coordinate fire on the commander's okay. target. There we go. So we need to close in on target that catapult. Target identified, commander. Put them down. And that's exactly what we're doing here. Okay, what's up? What's out over here? I saw something on sensors here. A turret. Okay, not Target a big deal. Destroyed. Okay, catapult has flanked out to the side, I think. That's a cicada there. Noted. And that's a blackjack. Okay. Just trying to eliminate this blackjack nice and quickly here. Shot. A there quick and painless headshot. That was a headshot? I was aiming for CT. Target acquired. <laughs> okay, so there's this cicada out over here. We did a lot of damage to the cicada. I want to get closed Nearly in there, on Commander. it here. Approach the hidden object to pick it up. Okay. Now cicada not doing so well at this point. I don't think that was a great shot there. Hello, turret. Goodbye, turret. Target acquired. Okay, there's a turret there. Splash target. Cool. Target Down goes Cicada. Now, we gotta get closed in on this catapult. He's got the dual LRM-20 streams going on here. Target Alpha has and there been we go. neutralized. Catapults are not very great commander. if you get closed in Let's on them and start opening now. up with an AC-20. Tobias has been taken out. Mission complete. Now, get back to the OZ, and we'll get you out of here. And on top of it, our AMS definitely did some work there. That's great. We love it. So there's also some salvage right here, conveniently right on the way. Let's grab that. What is this? The more ballistics, the merrier. Indeed, I'm just wondering what it is. And what are New you? Target An assassin? assassin? Incoming missile. Well, that's rude. I mean, we don't need to fight this assassin. Like, we really don't need to fight this assassin. Let's just get out of here. Okay. So out of here we go. Question is, do we get that catapult? That would be nice. I kind of doubt it, though. Blackjack here, and of course, we don't have enough salvage shares to get that. The LRM-20 stream is here. I suppose we could take that. And then we've got LRM ammo, which we don't have any of that, apparently. We can take probably everything here. Yeah, we can take everything here, and we still have salvage remaining. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Okay, let's see this transmission here. Commander, your performance up to this point has been exemplary. 
but we fear that your efficiency might make our objectives here too transparent to the outside observer. This could potentially lead to the Arcturian guards identifying our organization, which is something we cannot risk. For our own safety, we'll need to throw the guards off our trail by attacking a military target, making this entire endeavor appear more as a clandestine military raid. We've identified a remote outpost that contains the Arcturian guards' backup data center. Destroying this facility won't be enough to compromise Benfled's security, but should be enough for our actions here to appear that our objectives were the destruction of this data center, and not the systematic strikes against the Arcturian guards themselves. Okay, so is this in the same location? Yes, it is. 165? Same negotiation at this point. There we go. Heavy and let's see what we want to do. Commander. Your visibility and sensor readings will be compromised out there. Okay, so I'm thinking we bring the Marauder here, and then we've got 45 tons to work with. So that would be like an assassin. But we could also just bring the Centurion and run three mechs here like so, and just be five tons over. This seems good to me. So let's head in with our Marauder, and that should be more than capable of dealing with anything we're gonna run across here. Attention, prepare for battle mech departure. Warning, hangar doors opening, stand clear. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. In an effort to cover our tracks, the IPS want us to destroy a remote Arcturian Guards outpost containing the battalion's data servers. IPS Intel claims that given its remote location, the outpost does not typically station a heavy complement of defenders but the guard will surely deploy additional defenses should the base come under attack. It's best if we aim to destroy our objective and leave before the guards can intercept us. Good luck, Commander. There was a typo in the subtitle. It's in that situation should have an apostrophe. Okay, let's head up here and destroy the, uh, destroy the military base now that we've finished destroying their grammar. Fantastic. So the question is, what are we going to have up here? And we're not expecting it to be I've very simple. I've got unidentified mechs approaching our installation. Intentions unknown. All security personnel report to stations. Okay. So immediately we see a spider out over here. That we mech also is on our kill see... list. You know what to do. That's There's right, your target objective, here. Commander. Why don't okay. you go over and introduce yourself? On it. So we're just closing in with this spider here. Wonderful. He is jumping. I just don't want to get DFA'd. There we go. Right, we've got an auto cannon on this. It's been a while. <laughs> okay, and he's at it. Beautiful. So we need to demolish the base, right? And that is absolutely fine. So we will be working on exactly that. We brought a heavy mech for this exact reason, to be able to just bulldoze through stuff like this, and that will be wonderful. Oh my god! Someone help us! We're taking command. heavy damage! We won't survive this hole for much longer! That is quite correct. Okay, so... Those were not very centered Table shots eliminated. there. But there goes that command. They're commando. operating at reduced efficiency. Keep on smashing! Excellent. New target, Panther. We're on your target, Commander. Okay. I'm sending our lance mates after that Panther. We probably shouldn't need to do anything there, in theory. We'll just continue to blast our way through this. Although, I guess the Panther's right here. We might as well just burst through this wall and be like, hello. And target so passes destroyed. the Panther. Fantastic. Okay. Helicopter up here, but uh, well, look, we actually got destroyed. it there. I'm surprised. That is quite surprising to me. Wonderful. There's not a lot of base left, honestly, but there's still 57%. I guess it's out over here. Sure, that seems fine. You've managed to demolish about half of the target's buildings. Crack on, Commander. Oh, we're working on it. Is that a medium mech? 
That is a medium map. New target, trebuchet. Oh, a trebuchet. Okay. Let's head up over there. Target acquired. There's also a Jenner and a J. Edgar. I'm shocked the J. Edgar survived that salvo. But didn't have great target spread, destroyed. so I guess it's okay. So passes the Jenner. And now we just need to close in on this trebuchet, get into its immediate, in, rather, its minimum range. Really? That's, that's a brave pilot. Okay. That's a very brave pilot. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Incoming missile. He just got into a punching fight as a trebuchet against a marauder. That was never going to go well for him. Okay, so we're shut down here. Incoming missile. Which isn't surprising, to be clear. Okay, let's head up over this direction. Keep working on the cicada. He's gone, actually. Okay. Let's head back in and continue taking down buildings. So what else do we have? Well, we've got a little bit of stuff over here, I suppose. Oh, great. They just destroyed our emergency generator. Yes, that is accurate. Okay, so we're down to 28% here. Another helicopter on the way in. Just pot shot at that, I guess. Just a wee bit more, Commander. This complex is on the verge cool. of collapse. So at this point, we could, I guess, just go through and take out the walls? And this guy up over here, I suppose. Okay, so this is a panther here. I guess we can take that out, no problem. Amazing command. There he goes. It's even going critical. Excellent. So now we've got these communication arrays out over here, which we can take down pretty easily. Target is currently at 7%, make that four. And now three, two. You did it, Commander. And there we go. This whole place has been flattened. Now, let's get out of here before more trouble arrives. Head to the evac zone. Which is right here, convenient. Not us, your reserves. Damn it. You're welcome. Okay, let's get out of here. So we took a little bit of damage, but nothing too significant. That's it, Commander. I've confirmed with the IPS that we have satisfied the terms of our contract on this mission. Now let's get out of here before the Octuran guards come in force. Indeed. Contact hostile. Yeah, dropship's got it. Okay, I'm not expecting much from salvage on that one, that's for sure. We get some sea bills. I guess we could get a cicada out of it. No, we don't have the salvage chairs for it. We could get a spider. Do we want another spider? We could get a commando though. That's a different weight category. So that could definitely that could definitely be an interesting option. And this is a large laser variant of commando too. Com one B is a pretty decent variant. So that sounds good. Let's just grab something like that. There we go. And. Great work, Commander. In addition to destroying the Arturan Guard's data center, we've discovered that the guards appear to have been using their stockpile of hatchetmen to experiment with refitting a number of their other mechs with similar melee weapons. While it appears that these alternative melee weapons are nothing more than cosmetic knockoffs of the hatchet technology developed by De Defiance, they each seem to have different offensive profiles when compared to the standard hatchet. As a performance bonus, we'll provide you with a few samples of the weapons we salvaged from the facility. These weapons appear to be compatible with the hatchetmen we've provided you, so we hope you can put them to good use. I'm sure we won't. So that is absolutely fine. And apparently we have a part five of this, but that's going to be for next episode because it is time to put a cut in here. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Andy Magar, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Xenocyte, Hiro Marutsu, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, The Lounge STL, and all the rest. And of course, you. 
Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.